Hello, Wastelanders. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout Robot's 3. brain is scrambled. I agree, Sydney. I agree. He hasn't given me any water in like three episodes. Uh, so I've done a bit of redecorating in the place. I went and purchased the My First Infirmary over at the uh, shop because I found out that this can cure your rads and it's quite efficient at doing so. I'm paying 100 caps uh, every time I want to cure my rads over at the doctor. And, uh, I mean, it's not that much, you know, it's reasonable. But I have lots of rad away. The problem is the rad away just doesn't really remove that much. If it's used out in the field, it's like 50 or 75 rads it removes. That's not very much whenever you're trying to remove 1,000 plus. Maybe it's better with medical skill, but it's going to be a very long time till I have a high medical skill. So... I picked up the My First Infirmary, and what this does is it allows you to heal yourself using medical supplies or remove your rads using rad supplies. Uh, you can also restore your damaged limbs using um, medical supplies, and you can add supplies here as well. So, for radiation treatment, you have to add Radaway or Radex, and I have quite a few Radaway. I think I had like 20 or so. I had about 5 supplies here, so I could uh, go ahead and cure my rads. So for the cost of 2 Rad Away or 4 Rad X, I can remove all the radiation from my character's body, and that's very, very efficient. This was 2,000 caps. I traded like, pretty much all my spare weapons in uh, to, be able to, per to be able to purchase it and not lose any money. But in the long run, I think that we will save money on it, because every time we come back here, we need to heal our rads away. Well, no big deal. We can take care of that and only cost us two rad away. Obviously, if I was buying the two rad away, it'd be probably not worth it. Because rad are kind of expensive still and our bartering skill sucks. But I will find rad and I'll put them in here and therefore it's free. So yeah, over time, this will pay for itself. Also, I'm going to try putting on a silencer mod. To see you alive and well, I'm actually going to save before I do this because I don't want to screw anything up. I've been told it's good, but I don't like I don't know. So I've been told that I should put the silencer mod on the Black Dragon assault rifle here. So I've got it out and I've got my silencer mod, that and we're gonna head breaks. over to um, Myra's shop over there and just use her workbench. Not sure if I'll ever buy a workbench for my place. It'd be kind of handy to have it there, but. Moira's is right over here. Not a big deal to just use hers. A lot of expense for really not much gain. Be more of a luxury item for me to have one of my own. So, uh, let's go ahead and whip mod. And let's attach a silencer. Okay, so now it should have... Yes, it has both the laser sight and the silencer on it. So we, we lost about two damage per shot, but the silencer on it should make it a lot more stealthy and uh, that should be good. And hopefully that adds to our ability to get crits and stuff like that. So that's cool. I believe uh, it also does more critical damage now with that on. So I uh, also need to stop by the doctor. We, we have a bunch of withdrawals that are taking our stats down, so... We're going to stop over here and get our rads removed real quick, or not our rads, our uh, addictions removed. Unfortunately, fortunately, there is no addiction For removal. For Christ's sake, you don't... Uh, I need to get addiction removed. That'll be... This isn't too bad, I'm though. 50 caps. I'm out of the mouths of some poor dealer's kids right now, you know. Are we done? All better now, you. Okay. So that should be all taken care of. Yes. Uh, so yeah, all we have going now is the repair backpack and the armor. Um, so the thing is, just carrying the one weapon, a decent amount of ammo for it, which 460 ammo is a decent amount for this thing because it chews through it like crazy. And uh, four of each of the grenades and frags, and then just these, my basic setup here, plus the utility armor, utility jumpsuit for the repairing and lockpicking so I can open up those things, plus, you know, a decent variety of uh, foods and stuff. I mean, we're pushing 
our max carry weight already with just that. I mean, I don't have anything else in here really that's super heavy, so that's kind of a problem. Um, it'll be a, a bit of a pain. I'll probably have to like just drop some stuff while I'm like moving stuff into a container so I can then take it back to here. I also cooked all my food up, so that's good to go. Um, I also, since we went ahead and got the comprehension perk, right? we did get that, right? Let me just make sure here. Yeah, we got comprehension, so we'll get an additional skill point whenever a skill book is read. So I've got all my stuff out here. This should be um, big guns, I guess. Big guns increased by four. Okay, yes. So we get four points instead of three on the books, which, you know, that's good. This should be for speech. Very good. This should be for melee. And this should be for sneaking. Nice. Okay, so that's all done. Okay, well, let's get rid of some, some of our weight there. All right, so we got a very nice assortment here of uh, various stuff. I'm going to put away a couple things I forgot to get rid of here. Welcome home, sir. I double tapped R when I was going in to transfer stuff here and took all, and it was, uh, yeah, it was bad. It was real bad, guys. It was not a fun time. Okay, two doctor's bags is fine. Ant nectar for some carry weight, buff out for emergencies. I don't really use psycho, so we'll drop that off. Don't need Parasite's Loss. Not sure why it's an aid, but it's, it is for whatever reason. I'll keep one Red X and some Emergency right away on me just in case. Though honestly, I think... You know... I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it's not even worth using the Red X. Because it lasts for such a short duration. Four of them can cure me completely of rads, you know? Like, is one Red X in the field worth 250 rads cured? Prevented? I'll keep one on me for, like, emergencies, but I don't think it is. I don't think it's ever really worth it. We've got uh, 20 stim packs total, so that's good. Okay, I think we're all good here. These way, nothing, so we can keep those in there. That's good, that's good. I did check vendors again for ammo. Bought a bit of additional ammo, but not too much. All right, we are... Oh, there's a... Uh, one I forgot. Energy weapons, yeah, nice, cool. Cool, so now we can go back to Georgetown West. We're gonna go back into that metro. Uh, so I did go back off screen and check the average safes in both the Mama Dolce's area. There were two I could get there. Uh, one of them was hard, unfortunately, so I could not get in there. And I also went back to here. It's a weird lighting thing there. Um, I got the two containers that were hard locked, or sorry, uh, average locked in here. Um, I didn't include them in the video because they were extremely underwhelming, guys. Like, I honestly could kind of have cared less about the loot. It was a, like a couple, couple 32 and 10 millimeter pistols and a little bit of ammo for them, and that was like it. I went in this room as well, and there was like nothing really crazy in here. So... I will ironically take the uh, tin cans because I'm getting kind of low on those, so. But there was a different area to go to. Went into here as well. Uh, again, there was not really much in here. I swear I didn't see those in that before. I swear these metal boxes sometimes, or any of the chests, any of the containers, they can like spawn new loot when you go into a the zone a second time. I swear they do. So, uh, right. We want to go over here and then down this way. That's where I was starting to go. And I realized, okay, I haven't been down through here. Look, there's probably some raiders down here. So I'll hold up and wait until I can do it with you guys. So here we are. Right. New area. I swear this thing keeps making noise. When it was here, when I was here before for a second and realized I had already, or that I hadn't been here yet, uh, I swear it made some weird noise. Dead Raider over here. What you, oh, there's a Power Fist here, right? I dropped that. Okay, yeah, so I came up to here and then I realized, oh, there's mines here. 
probably raiders out here. Like that one right there. And I definitely... Definitely uh, won't make that shot from here with this thing. These guys back to me, so that's good. It sounds really cool. I'll give him that. Give the uh, the mod that. Or it sounds different anyway. Ooh, there's a mine right there. Okay. I shouldn't have even brought some mines. We're getting all the mines for free today. Thank you, Raiders. Appreciated. I guess while I'm at it, I could put an extended mod on this thing, or extended mag on this thing too, but honestly, I'm gonna get better weapons. Like, this is, uh, this is a decent, it's an okay, like, early game weapon, but there's a lot better stuff, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the specifics or, like, where you get the stuff at, but, like, there's some crazy energy weapons in uh, Fallout 3. I remember that from a long time ago whenever I watched an ESO video about the best weapons in Fallout 3 whenever I was going to play it and I never got around to playing it. Yeah, I don't recall the specifics, but I do remember... Ooh, Rock Salt's key. Got a key, nice. I do remember that... Uh, Oh my god, so many freaking mines everywhere. Okay, I hear some footsteps. But yeah, I do remember that uh, there were some crazy energy weapons that have some kind of hidden mechanics involving like crits and added damage and stuff that are not readily apparent that just make them stupidly overpowered. Okay, we got a little bit of carry weight left, but... We're getting all the mines today. Just hope nobody pops out here while we're doing this. But so far, so good. They're all nice and easy to see, too. Thank you, Raiders. It's appreciated. Okay, those are mole rat crawling sounds. I guess they have like a mole rat infestation here. It's probably why they had all the mines. Hello, turret. That could have been useful for me too, but I just figured. You know, if you're gonna... I don't know. The turret's probably more dangerous to me than the mole rats are, you know? That was my thinking there. Could have been helpful to me if it targeted mole rats, but there's no guarantee on that, so... This area is just... is there's not, there's not much here. It's a lot of doors and rooms. Did I get them both? I think I did. Nice and easy. I can definitely see an improvement. Like, when I get a crit, it's, it's really apparent that I'm doing a lot more damage. I think this mod, this uh, silencer adds quite a bit more. I thought I heard a turret last episode. I guess I was correct on that, or some kind of weird sound that I thought might be a turret. I guess uh, it was indeed a turret because that's what we shot back there. Oh, 
Okay, um, so where have I been? Where have I not been? Not really sure if I've been up here or not. Yeah, this was where I just went, right? Yeah. And this just goes back down, yeah? Yeah, okay. So then... Over here, okay. Oh, take that. I guess I can't take the... Take it off the floor, so yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. More ammo is always nice. Probably could have gotten away with just taking the 10 mil out for this, since it's just like mole rats and pretty weak raiders, honestly. Average, can't get through that. Probably a turret up here somewhere, or maybe that was to control the other turret. I'm not really sure. I do hear... More mole ratties over here. Ninety-three percent. Pretty good. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Well, I'm gonna be having lots of mole rats saved up to use for uh, the wonder mole rat meat jerky maker thing, whatever it's called. Almost full. Where does this go to? Capital Wasteland. Okay, it goes back outside. Where at, though? Did I get everything down there? It seemed like I did. I don't know. I kind of want to go back down for a second and make sure I got everything in that metro. Where are we? Somewhere I haven't been. Oh, we're just outside the tepid sewers. Okay. And this is Dukov's place. I'm supposed to go and kill Dukov, actually. Okay. It's a lot less recoil on it now, I think, which makes it easier to fire with a silencer. It's quite nice. A couple of rad roaches here. How are you? There you are. That missed. There we go. That's too much. Okay, well, we can uh, have some food here to get some health back. Eat some rad roach as we kill some rad roach to assert dominance, you know? a massive waste of ammo. I guess I could use the power fist to kill him instead. It's kind of a massive waste of ammo to be using that on them, though. Check the Mirelurk thingy over here and see if we get any uh, decent meat out of it. Hatching I'm going to pass on, but soft show. Oh, hello. I am over encumbered now. It's not good. Um, okay. We got him. I think I hear another one behind me. <laughs> no, this is not good. Uh, yeah, let's, um, drop three of them. Okay. Oh, God. Up. It's a centaur over there, too. 
my god. What's going on? I don't think I have my bandages bound anymore. Let me bind those real quick to six. Is that it? My god. Blew through a lot of ammo there. Get pretty hot over here pretty quick. I guess they were just swimming around in the water over here. Didn't notice them. These Meyer lurks where that is. Oh, another one. Wait. No, you're dead. And yeah, you're dead. Okay. I would like my combat shotgun back, and I will find a way to take it back with me. I do need some more food, so I guess uh, that's fine. Okay. Another centaur over there. Probably a, uh, a couple of super mutants over there. Okay, let me examine my surroundings first before I run off. Keep your weapons holstered or get shot. Oh, this is like for Dukov's place, right? I remember Dukov's place. From the first time I played Fallout. Somehow I, I stumbled upon it. Found it while wandering around. There's rad roaches, though. You want me to kill those for you? Stop. Keep your weapons holstered or get shot. Did I get the uh, fast travel spot for it? I did. Okay. Well, I, I'm definitely supposed to murder him. Yeah, kill Dukov and get his key. Sorry, Dukov. I, uh... I don't have room for it, though, right now. I'm gonna go back and drop stuff off first, and I'll come back here later. Let's go back to Megaton. Drop our loot off, and then come back. Seems like a good time to do it. This stupid pipe. This goddamn pipe. Every time I can't jump. There we go. If you're on, like, a really steep incline, you can't jump very well in this game. Uh, poor Sydney. She's just still back here by herself. I'm sorry. I've got, got so many mines. It's crazy. I'm sorry, Sydney. I, uh, you know, I've been busy. It's been busy. Doing things that, you know, don't involve what I'm supposed to be doing for your quest. So, sorry about that. Don't get too mad at me now. Okay, that should do. Back to Dukov as we go. Time to lose some karma, I guess. Unless maybe I can, like, convince him to uh, give me his key and... Unlikely. Get some more food here real quick. Get some heals. Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry, I'm thirsty over here. Who are those girls and where are their clothes? Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls! I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two! <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> so those girls are just your whores? Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> So, what exactly is this place? It's my hidey hole. 
Nobody can fuck with me here. I got my women and my booze. What the hell else is there? What are you doing all the way out here? Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! Ha <laughs> ha! Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Hmm. Funny, I had similar ideas. Someone said you might know uh, Mr. Crowley. Care to comment? He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Hmm, where'd he die? Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. So it was just you and Mr. Crowley? <laughs> no clown shoes! Ben Penny hired a whole fucking team! Stray, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, they were nice. <laughs> That place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. How'd you all meet? Then Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how he got Crowley to sign on. Ten Penny fucking hates ghouls. Okay, so. Dukov and the rest were hired along with, um. Crowley buy Tenpenny to do a job at Fort Constantine to get some fancy gun. This sounds like the setup for uh, me to get a very, very nice weapon. Okay, I don't think I need to hear any more. Good. I'm getting tired of flapping jaw with your clown shoes. I think I'll flap my balls against Cherry's ass instead. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hmm. I think I'll just go. You need to drink more. <laughs> Not a bad guy, honestly. And uh aren't you looking fine? Some very, very nice decor here as well. Hey, good looking. I'm Cherry. Can I do anything for you? Does he pay you for this? <laughs> Of course. Why else would I stay with the old fart? You, you don't think I actually love that bastard, do you? Hmm, I'm not gonna pass this probably. So, what's the deal with him? He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. I kind of doubt that. Ah, uh, hmm. Thanks for the warning. No sweat. So, what exactly is this place? It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. Wonder if I could convince her. Probably not. 7% though, let's give it a try. Dukov has a key I need. Steal it for me. Why the hell should I trust you? Okay. See ya, Cherry. Take care, sugar. We'll try the other girl first, I guess. Then we'll just murder him, I suppose. Oh my. Aren't you a stud? I'm Fantasia. If you need something... Just let me know. Does he pay you for this? He gives me some caps, but it's not what you think. He can be a nice guy. And when the lights go out, he's real fun. Wow, so she's actually into it. So what's he actually like? He's alright. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Well, it's your life and it's your choice, Fantasia. Damn straight. See you later. Bye bye honey. Okay, so... 
need to uh, get a little stealthy shot hey, on this guy let's here. Get wasted. I mean, really stinking Watch drunk. It, <laughs> Sorry. That bastard just about wore me out last night. And yeah, you're just gonna die instantly, aren't you? And we lost some karma. Yeah. This is hopeless. hopeless. Yep, good. Run away, ladies. Is it worth stealing pork and beans and squirrels on a stick? Probably not. I have plenty of I got plenty of stuff. I don't need that. The Nuka Cola I will steal though. We'll check the rest for anything else he might have. BB gun, huh? That that is uh, that is a very nice um, whatever that is there. I wonder what this place was beforehand. Had to have been a uh, strip club or something. Oh, so he was shooting these with the BB gun. Yeah, yeah. Bored, I guess. Help! Run away. Ooh, a silencer. Yeah, we're taking that. Only had one of those. I already used it on my uh, assault rifle, so. I do feel a bit bad killing him. Like, he's not a bad guy. He invited me into his home to me to party with him and everything, and then, uh,. Yeah, then we did this. Well, sorry to come. You got a key, and uh, I need it, so... Anything else down the lower level here? That goes outside of... Still here? Wait, really? <laughs> you don't care I killed him? So that prick Dukov is dead. <sighs> Can't say I'll miss him. Even so... I'm going to need someone to protect me. A girl can't survive by herself in the wasteland. I'm sure you'll find some way. Right. Because I've got all kinds of survival skills. I've only got one skill, and it won't do me any fucking good here. Go on. Get out of here. Okie dokie, then. Just a random 10 mil and a bunch of bottles of money. Don't need that. What do we got here? Assault rifle I will take. That's fine. Are you calm down now? He's dead? Oh, I'm going to miss the old lecher. We had some real fun times. Who's going to look after me now? See you later. Bye bye honey. Okay, I guess they're over it. Wonder what's back in the secret room here. Oh, his files. Ooh, auto fire mechanism. This is hopeless. Oh, did you get upset that I took some stuff? I'm out of here. Okay, whatever. Okay, we're good. I think we have what we need. Uh, I don't need to steal any more stuff and lose more karma. Well, hold on. There's more over here. Oh, there's a whole man. There's a whole bunch of jet here. There's so much jet here. My karma will just tank, though, if I take it all. Um, like, what's where do I see my karma at? I'm I'm ne I'm neutral right now. Okay, we're just barely staying in the light, guys. So maybe we'll just leave this here for now. I don't like use jet that much, anyways. I don't need caps that much right now, anyways. Like, there's no reason for me to be a hoarder and steal it all and lose all my reputation. So yeah, we'll just leave that be for now. So these are both doors. This is hopeless. This goes out. Oh, she ran outside. Well, good luck out there.
It's a red roach. Yeah, still have to worry about keeping our weapons drawn or uh, holstered anymore. Okay, well, there's Dukov dead. Uh, there's one of them down. What else do I want to do? The tepid sewers, right? Let's go over here. Did I go all through that last time? I'm going to check real quick. Did I go all the way through this or no? I don't recall. Uh... Mostly, but I didn't actually go all the way up here, I don't think. Okay, well... Or did I go all the way through? Um... Is this the mole? This is the mole rat place. I'm just gonna run through it real quick. Won't take long. Hopefully. I think I missed some stuff here. Maybe. Maybe not, though. Right, went through here and got the mines and stuff. Oh, hello. Um... Didn't see you here before. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't use vats. Why can't I use vats? Come on. Okay. Took a lot of damage there. Shouldn't have eaten those raw, but whatever. Should be more than enough. Where's your gun? I think it's just on the inventory. Where's your gun? Here it is. Too much already. Okay. Um, ooh, we got it. Oh, here we go. Laser pistol. So this is what that key I had uh, last episode was for. I didn't actually go all the way back through here. This was the room where we're supposed to use it. I was kind of curious about that. Gonna get rid of nine pounds. Okay, um... I'll just stash... One, uh, two of these in there, that should be fine. Okay, so I haven't been up through here yet. I doubt there's anybody left in here after that. Nice, our stim pack. Radex, always good. And it's over encumbered, okay. Gotta take all these back and repair them and sell them because I'm out of uh, bartering goods at the moment. I'm going to, um, yeah, put this back in the fridge with the other ones. You know what, I'll just put the, um, the assault rifle in here too for now. That's fine. And a laser pistol. There we go. And I have some carry weight. 
I'll just do a transfer off screen. I'm not running back every five seconds. Hey, Dean's Electronics, that's going to be a science skill, I think. Nice, we'll go ahead and use that right away. Oh, it's repair. Very nice. More repair is always good. Can probably get pretty close to 100%. If we're using all that. Is it everything? Bathroom over here. Yeah, I believe that's everything. Okay, so... This is actually not where I was intending to go originally, but that's fine. Okay, so I want to go up through this way. Got those already. Pretty sure I got all the mines already in here. Okay, no, this just ends up here, I think, right? Yeah, it just ends over here. Not sure if I actually went through all the way out the other side over here, though. So I want to do that real quick and make sure that we're done as far as that goes. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I went, I came in over here, that's right. It's a big, like, going around type thing. Yeah, because I had to come back here and get the stuff. Okay. Right. Let's go back through here, and we should also get a... Well, what's over here? I don't know if I've gone to the left up here yet. Nothing here, that's why. Okay. This comes out around to the main gate metro entrance. Yes, okay. When it goes back to Georgetown. Got it. Okay, so that's that area all done then. Dukov is dead. I'd want to go... Not sure where the, the tepid sewers entrance is at, actually. I guess just run back through there to get my stuff. I take it back. Okay, so that's explored. Not that. Um, pretty happy with that. I'm actually feeling a lot better nowadays about, like, you know, roaming and stuff out and about. I feel a lot more confident in my character now. I mean, still not as much as I could be, but feels considerably, considerably better. Considerably. God, I can't say that word. Considerably better than it used to. This is all dead-end stuff. Okay. Nothing else here. The one thing I don't like about Fallout 3, um, which I realize is just a limitation of the engine and the times, is that you can definitely tell... Ooh, Nuka Cola. Quantum. You can definitely tell that... Um, no, not that. Sorry, you can definitely tell that uh, they had to put in these rubble buildings as a way to block you off from going through certain areas because they didn't um they're I mean they, they just they had limits on how much they could put into one area into one cell you know didn't see these before yeah so radiator king and this is Grocer. Okay, we'll check us out too. Probably a bunch of raiders in here, and I'm gonna just get ambushed. Oh, I just hear uh. 
That's right. It's time for the cashews. That doesn't really work. How about news? I've been getting more and more reports of these mercenary maniacs from Talon Company, especially in the downtown DC area. If you see these hombres, steer clear. Whatever you have, they want, and they're not really into asking politely. Word is, these guys take all the contracts the other mercs won't. In short, there's nothing they won't do. So be careful out there. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ooh, and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. I definitely think Three Dog has been the uh, the best DJ we've had for any Fallout game. No questions asked. Although I don't know, uh, Mr. New Vegas was really good too. That's oh man, that's a, that's a tough one. That is tough. Well, this has been a nice little profitable run. A couple of rad roaches and just a bunch of free stuff. We have to drop some stuff, though, unfortunately. Uh, probably the beers are not worth that much. You don't really need them that badly for bartering. It's not that huge of a deal. It comes out to, like, two bartering skill. They weigh 10 pounds. I can get into this safe because I have my utility jumpsuit on me, so we can use that. And now we can lockpick this average safe here. And I'm sure it'll be just as underwhelming as the rest of the average safes I've picked. Which is why I regret spending the points to get that perk, but, you know. Eventually we'll get lucky with something and I'll be really happy about it, but for now... Feels like I definitely shouldn't have done something else with those points. Lockpicking just hasn't really paid off for me so far. Yep, yeah, like I said, guys. Underwhelming as hell. Six bottle caps. Boy, I'm sure glad I did that. Oh, man. We're rich now. So quiet in here. Okay. I think this little, like, mini area here is pretty much all explored then. I don't know if I went up here really all that much. I'll check around this building a bit more. I didn't really see much here, though, so... I guess there could be stuff up on top. Is an ammo case over here? No, never mind. Yeah, I already went through here and killed these guys, and took their stuff that was worth taking. So, not much here now. Right, because I came out from over here. And then had a little super mutant slaughter over here. Okay, uh, I think we go back, guys. What's over here, though? I didn't go over here. This is like the only exit we can do. Where are we going towards right now? Towards uh, Georgetown North. Okay. All the all the coffee pots and stuff I left over here because I didn't have room for them. Picked them up on accident. Oh, right, I remember coming out over here. I remember this, like, many episodes ago, and I was, like, super scared of these guys, and I ran away from them. One of them had a... minigun, though. Pretty sure, anyway, previously, and he was a real bitch. Like, he was... peppering me with those five mils from a mile away. It was not a good time. I think I killed him, though. <clears throat> I 
Can I go over here? I don't think I can. It's gonna be like an invisible wall, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, pretty much. Can't get over there from here, if you can get over there at all. All right, well, I am satisfied with that. I'm gonna go and dump stuff off, then come back to, um... Oh, okay, Tepid Sewers does have a mark spot. Okay, so I'll go back to Tepid Sewers, go through there, get my stuff, bring that back to Megaton as well, probably sleep for the night, it's kinda late. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do all that off screen, guys. I think we're probably gonna end the episode here. Next time, um, I'm, I'm kind of, like, good now in exploring some of those metro areas I had kind of put off for a while. I think next time I want to go and try to find Pinkerton and do that quest if I can. Um, so Pinkerton, which I know we're, like, we're still supposed to go to the Arlington Library, but whatever, man. Um, I'm supposed to go and find Pinkerton over by Rivet City. I think we just need to swim through the water. Like, I saw what looked like kind of an opening, sort of... I, I don't know, it looked suspicious to me when I was on the uh, the broken off part of Rivet City, looking at the part that's like broken off in the water. And I've dealt with enough Meyer Lurks now that I, I think I feel comfortable fighting them and making my way to Pinkerton and finding out more about the Andrew situation. And uh, this is Jericho's house, it's not my house. Sorry, buddy, it's dark. They all look the same in the dark. Okay, anyway, yeah, sorry, Sydney. I, uh, you know, I know you're just staying here with, uh, Wadworth for company. Sorry, but you would die if you were out there with me, so. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I am gonna take off. See you next time.